thing to look at when it comes to language teaching and technology is to understand that there are different factors or groups of factors that influence whether a technology will be successful or not in your language classroom. And some of these factors you have control over, but some of them you actually don't have control over. So we're going to group these factors into four large groups. So we have the teacher factors, we have the student factors, we have the organizational factors, and then we have the technology factors. We're going to take a look at some of the factors within these larger categories so that you can start to understand the different influences that there are on the successful use or unsuccessful use of technology in the language classroom. Now let's take a look at some student factors when it comes to the use of technology in our language classrooms. And these are factors that as teachers and program managers, we actually have less control over, but we do need to be aware of them. The first factor is probably a fairly obvious one, and this is student expertise with technology in general. We're going to have a wide variety in terms of how expert our students feel when it comes to just using technology in general. We'll have some students who are very, very at home using any technology and they're very willing to jump in and try new technologies. And we'll have at the other extreme students who are, who are not comfortable at all with technology and we have to kind of allow them to um, approach technology with baby steps. So student expertise with technology really adds a whole new set of variations into our language classrooms because we've got this whole range from zero level of expertise all the way up to very, uh, a very high level of expertise. So it, it adds a lot more variation into our language classrooms, which as teachers we need to be prepared to deal with. The second student factor is one that we've actually already seen as a teacher factor. And this is that student expertise with technology in general or a specific technology may exceed teacher expertise. And this creates challenging dynamics for the students as well as the teachers. So some students may enjoy the fact that, hey, I know more than the teacher. Other students may find this embarrassing or they may think the teacher loses face or they may, you know, think, well, the teacher's not the teacher now because I know more than him or her. So this whole idea of student expertise exceeding teacher expertise is another student factor that comes into play with the use of technology. The final student factor we need to consider is that students are going to see technology um, through a kind of different set of eyes than a teacher would see technology. So teachers see technology in terms of what they can do pedagogically in a classroom, be it a language classroom or a mathematics classroom or any classroom. Students, on the other hand, see it through a set of eyes that evaluate the technology from the perspective of how enjoyable is it, how motivating is it, um, does this make me want to learn. So we have to factor in this idea of student eyes when it comes to technology. Our students evaluate the technology quite differently than we do as teachers, and we have to balance that in when it comes to our technology choices. Mm -hmm.